Sky News host Sophie Rich had Northern Ireland Secretary Brandon Lewis squirming as she questioned the legality of a new Brexit bill set to be unveiled on Monday. The Sky News Sophie Ridge on Sunday presenter questioned whether the UK government is planning to break the law with its new Brexit bill. New legislation is due to be unveiled on Monday in a move Brandon Lewis insisted will set the legal basis on which we're making this decision when the bill is published. Ms Ridge focused on the legality of the proposed law, which would allow the UK to override aspects of the Brexit Northern Ireland Protocol unilaterally, citing his previous admission that the government was ready to break international law to achieve its negotiating objectives. Ms Ridge asked, the last time you tried to unilaterally change the Brexit deal in Northern Ireland, that is in September 2020, you acknowledged that would break the law, in your words, in a specific and limited way. Will the legislation break the law? Mr Lewis replied, three things. First thing, the legislation we're outlining tomorrow is within the law. What we're going to do is lawful and it is correct. Two other important points, when I set that out in late 2020, the point we were making is we were giving primacy to the Belfast slash Good Friday Agreement. He continued, it was about protecting that over and above what was, at that point, an incomplete withdrawal agreement. What I would also say is we have taken unilateral action in the spring of last year, when we extended the grace period. That extension is still in place. Asked how people can be sure Monday's move is not in breach of international law, and specifically if the government will publish the legal advice this is based on, Mr Lewis added we're setting out the legal basis on which we are taking forward this legislation. We will be setting out our legal position on this. People will see that what we're proposing resolves the key issues within the protocol that don't work. Downing Street confirmed last week legislation giving powers to ministers to override parts of the Northern Ireland Protocol will be introduced to the Commons on Monday. A number 10 spokesman said, the bill has been agreed by the relevant cabinet committees and will be introduced to Parliament on Monday. We will alongside the bill publish a summary of the legal advice. The Foreign Secretary's been pretty clear that we want to reach a negotiated settlement, with the EU, but given the problems that the protocol is creating in Northern Ireland, we believe Terry's a necessity to act. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer has said that his party will vote against UK government legislation that would give powers to ministers to override parts of the Northern Ireland Protocol. Speaking in Belfast, the Labour leader said, We will vote against the legislation the government is putting before Parliament. We think it is the wrong approach. I'm not pretending there aren't issues and challenges with the protocol, of course there are. We have been listening to the political parties here, to communities, to business groups. 
I think those challenges can be overcome around the negotiating table with statecraft, with high levels of trust. It is that high level of trust that is missing with this Prime Minister and I think he is making a mistake by going down the route of legislation which will breach international law and, actually, I think, be an impediment to the negotiations that, in the end, are going to resolve these difficult issues.